Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do Atlas crossings in Trains Road Simulator 2019. So, the first thing you are going to need off of the download station is an ATLS, is an ATLS trigger, an ATLS, an ATLS a slave, so this right here, a traffic stopper, a controller, your favorite crossbucks, your favorite roads, your favorite railroad tracks, and then some invisible train tracks, which we will be using, which I'll be using today. Invisible wire red by BNSF 50. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're going to you're gonna take your you're gonna take you're gonna take your railroad crossings. You're gonna take your railroad. Oh my god! You take your railroad crossings. You're going to place them. I'm going to place them right next to the road. Now I'll just have to go here and actually take this, and I'm going to go over here put it right there. Perfect. What you're going to want to do first, it, or, well, what you're going to want to do next is you're going to take your your traffic, your ATLS traffic stopper. You're going to center it on the train track see there's like a little there's like little lines there so you just gotta put it there just like that so now what you want to do is it, over here at the slave trigger and go to your invisible track and you're going to connect that to over here into the railroad crossing and then out the other side of the crossing into the atlas trigger or sorry atlas uh traffic stopper and then out the other side into the railroad crossing so now you can see those boxes are gone so what this basically will do is there's, there's gonna, this will spawn an invisible train that will go on these tracks, these wires, those are invisible tracks. If we zoom out, you can see they are tracks. Um, it will, it will make an tra invisible train. You can't, you won't even be able to see it. You won't even know it's there. It won't even show up in your driver's window. It will go and hit the, hit the cross bucks, go through, hit the stopper, go through again to the other cross buck. Now what you want to do is we need to we need to program the uh the Atlas slave trigger. So we'll just go and we'll do that with the edit properties t uh tool. And right now it is set to LCM which is actually you're going to keep it on LCM. That's actually level cross. It stands for level level crossing mode. And then you're gonna want to set your channel right here. So basically, what this does is we need to set your channel number to whatever number you want. Um, it goes from I think one, uh, one to one to nine nine nine, I believe. So that basically, if if you set it all the same number and you hit this trigger here. The tri it, you'll go and you'll hit the trigger and it will activate all the slaves at once if you all have them set to one. So you want to set it to a unique number and either click all of these or you can go and click this channel number and set it to, uh, we'll just do 123 so you have so you don't have to click it 123 times. So we're going to set, set it to there. Now we're going to go over here to our controller and we are also going to set it to 123 and it says see a level crossing mode selected so you're going to want to go you want to keep it on negative one which is level crossing mode click the check um oh, wait i have to click the check on here to save the changes now we want to go over here and set the atlas trigger oh sorry set the at oh set the atlas trigger to you'll want to set it to also also set it to 100 uh, 123 
Now you want to change this to. You should keep it on. Never mind. Keep it on on SPL slash LCM. Uh, and you'll click the check. And then what you want to do is you just take another uh atlas trigger. And you're going to go to the other side of the track. I just zoom out. And you'll place it there. And then you'll also set this to 123. Click the check. Now, we can place a train down here. We'll do the Burlington Northern Tiger Nose. And then we'll just go and click, tr qu to go to the tools area and click, tw qu qu click, quick drive. Now, I'll just go and select the train, and we will go forwards, and the light on. You just have to wait until, this is the crossing right here. Oh, we'll go a little faster. So we'll go in over here. We'll go to the rear crossing. So if we go into edit trains, you can see there's the Atlas trigger. There's the other Atlas trigger that the train is currently approaching. You don't, you shouldn't, don't place it that as close, the close or as close I've, as I've made it because you'll want to have time for the gates to go down. So you can see now as the gates, the gates are now going down. And once we get far enough away from the trigger, you'll see that The gates are now going back up. So yeah, that is how you set up Atlas Railroad Crossings. Now, obviously, you can do a lot more with the Atlas system. You can do a lot more with the Atlas system than just doing this, but we're not, we're not going to talk about that today. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you learned a thing or two, and I hope it's this has solved all your problems with the really complicated ATLS system. And also, it doesn't. And also, all of these uh, triggers when you play the game, they'll all be invisible. These tracks won't. You, they'll also be invisible, as well as the triggers. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a couple things, and yeah, thank you. Goodbye.